generating a report. We can use the report tool to generate a report of our solved uh, solution. And so we can go up to report and we can give it a report title, author. I can pick the logo. So I'm going to come out here and say, ah, yeah, I can pick uh, a logo here. I can find a logo and pick a JPEG. Thought I had one there, but I'll skip that. Uh, I can put a summary in here. I can set the image sizes. I can give it a file name. So I might go something like uh, stress analysis report uh, video. All right. And I'll say YouTube video or something like that, right? YouTube video. And I can set the current path. So I'm going to go out here and go down the line and set it to my. Hang on. I'm going to go to mechanical design. I'm going to come down here to my videos. And I'll go to chapter 15. Say OK. And I can go to properties. I can set what kind of properties I want to control uh, here. So I can set these. I can go to different studies, what studies I want. And I can set the format. I can set it to be a web page, uh, multiple files, or I can go to a rich text format. So what I think I'll do, I'll say OK. And it'll generate that report. And it's thinking and calculating and and it's still calculating here. Remember, it's generating an RTF for me. I could have had it as a web file if I wished. So it's putting this into a file in which I can do something with. You can see down here I have my percentage down here of calculations here. So I'm just going to let it run. Okay, so my report is ran. And I'm going to come down and find my stress analysis. And uh, I'm actually... I'll just slide this over here. You can see I have all my files in my folder here. And here's my RTF file. I'm going to open this up. And it's going on my other screen at the moment. But it's, it's thinking. It's a big file. All right, so here we are. So we have my stress analysis report. Goes along, gives me all, all my reports. I know I'm going a little too fast here, but you can see how it goes through and calculates each thing here. So I've generated a nice report that I can edit. And so this is how we generate a report after we've completed our simulation.